Well, thank you. As uh, you write about it, uh, took a little longer than I was expecting, but uh, you know uh, uh, that uh, means lots to me. It happened here because uh, this is where everything started, and uh, you know uh, got a thousand point tonight. Uh, it's uh, it's awesome and it's a privilege, and uh, you know it's a great milestone and a great uh, great uh, point in my career. Real nice gesture too by the Ottawa Senators organization. The fans all got to their feet. Uh, loudly clap for you of recognizing the thousand points. That must have meant a lot to you too. Uh, for sure, uh, you know, as soon as they announced uh, the thousand point and uh, everybody went on their feet, uh, you know, I had a little goosebumps uh, uh, on me and uh, definitely really quick went through my mind, you know, what I, uh, in uh, seven years in Ottawa and, uh, uh, you know, there was uh, lots of fun years here. With, uh, I met lots of great people and uh, uh, it's uh, my lungs to mean lots to me, you know, I, uh, you know, I'm privileged uh, being 80 player to make a thousand points. Yeah, that many guys have done it, only 80 in the history of the game. Let's talk about this game for a minute tonight because uh, kind of a shootout type of game for a while. You guys really were in need of some two, uh, two point game. You had the lead, you lost it, but uh, it seemed like the perseverance of this team was able to eventually prevail. Uh, I don't think we played well defensively. Uh, you know, goalie helped us and, uh, you know, we found a little offense. Uh, uh, the lines were switching a little bit, and uh, we find uh, a little chemistry on different lines. And uh, uh, you know, Patrick Sharp uh, scored a nice uh, shootout with the winner at the end, so we got two points, and uh, we are happy about it. But we know we can play better. Hey, were you next in the shootout? I bet you wanted to go, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> I think I was the poor one, uh, but, uh, you know, thanks God I didn't have to go. Uh, you know, uh, Mary, when you look back on your career, obviously a lot of people will think, but I want to look at your coaches, and I know your dad coached you growing up, but who are some of the guys who really meant a lot to you and the way you played? Well, there was, uh, there was lots of guys, but definitely, uh, you know, uh, the first one was my dad. Uh, obviously, he was a long-time coach, and uh, he helped me a lot in my career, uh, you know, uh, uh, my, my mom, uh, and uh, obviously he, when I came to North America, uh, Brad Peterson uh, in the Portland uh, Winter House when he won the Memorial Cup, and uh, you know Jack Martin start a uh, long uh, seventh season here in uh, in Ottawa. You know then we go to Bob Hartley here, you know, uh, you know in Pittsburgh uh, had uh, three. Uh, uh, Michelle, 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 yeah, Michelle, yeah. and uh, you know uh, then uh, in Detroit, uh, you know. Uh, Babcock. Uh, so I learned also from these guys, you know, and uh, now I got like, lucky with uh, Joel and, uh, you know, I went through lots of great coaches and, uh, you know, I got lucky. We always marvel at your two-way game. I mean, a thousand points is a great milestone. You're better defensively, I think, than you are offensively, your pursuit of the puck and your relentless uh, ability to go get it back once you lose it. But Joel Penville was talking about you being the perfect pro and, and the, he talked about the, your two-way game. Bruce Boudreaux the other day was talking about you and said, you know, when young guys come in the league, they're all about points. As they get older, they figure out what, that winning is more important. How did you and when did you figure out that playing the game on both sides of the puck was more meaningful than just getting a bunch of points? I think uh, when I got, uh, you know, traded to Atlanta, uh, we didn't have an uh, off offensive, uh, you know, team. And, uh, you know, uh, Bob Hartley was uh, really strict uh, with the defensive uh, game. And uh, I think then I figured out I had to help uh, more you know, in defense, uh, you know, to win the hockey games. And I think uh, that was a turnaround. And slowly I become, you know, try to learn more and more, play better defensively. And uh, when I went to different teams, uh, I improved. And uh, obviously the move to Detroit, when I moved to Detroit, uh, there was like lots of uh, future Hall of Famer back then. And uh, those guys, I learned so much from them. Well, listen, it's been great to uh, watch your plays, but even better to be around you. Congratulations on a wonderful milestone, and to go celebrate it with your, your joyous teammates. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. All right. Marion Hosa, and I'll tell you, we said this earlier, Stevie, but you talk to anybody who's dealt with this guy on any level, and you can't find anybody to say a bad <laughs> word. And you that's, that's incredible, because yeah. somebody's always got a problem with somebody somewhere along the road. doesn't happen with this guy. And, and what he does, too, he inspires his other teammates. And I think maybe more importantly than anything, that's what he does. He makes everyone around him better.